Hey, good morning to you, South Florida. I'm Jawan Strader. Thank you so much for joining us this Sunday. The Focus Show has been a little bit on hiatus this past month, and we're happy to see you back here this morning. Well, today we're looking at how to create a new you in the new year. And with the damage done from holiday shopping, for many of us, we like a makeover in the money department. And joining us today with some tips and local resources to help you become financially fit is Howard DeVorkin from Consolidated Credit Counseling Services. Good morning to you, Howard. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing okay, and you know what? I need to become financially fit because well, you know a, a, a lot of people do. Yeah. Especially, it's a new year, right? And everybody wants to start off, and they make resu- New Year's resolutions. But it needs to be an all year resolution because most New Year's resolutions only last until January, maybe February, and then they go by the wayside, and you get your attention gets put elsewhere. What people need to do is always and constantly be concerned with money and make sure that when you're spending money, you actually need whatever you're buying and make sure that you're paying cash for that instead of throwing it on the credit card. Okay, before we move on with the tips and everything else, let's talk about a little bit about credit counseling services and what you do, especially after the holiday season. What do you normally see after the holiday season when it comes to many of your clients? Consolidated Credit Counseling has been in business for 17 years in South Florida. We are one of the largest credit counseling agencies in the world, and we help a lot of people. People from all over the country call us, and certainly during January, February, March, it's a big time of year because all those holiday bills come in, and people need Mm -hmm. direction. They need reassurance that if they pay their bills, they're going to stay out of debt or get out of debt and stay out of debt. And they need a roadmap. And that's essentially what we do at Consolidated. That's true. We provide roadmaps on how to get out of debt and how to stay out of debt. And I know a lot of us make a lot of mistakes when it comes to holiday spending. And the next thing you know, we come out of it and we're like, oh, my goodness, what did I just do? I just spent so much money. The credit card bills start to add up. And then I'm like, I'm stuck. You know, how do I get out of it? And and chances are you've been stuck before. You're still paying yes. bills for many, many Christ- holiday seasons ago. And you don't have to be. You can live on what you make. I know it's a new concept to a lot of people. <laughs> but right now the economy is not doing well. And people shouldn't be a slave to their credit card companies. They need to take responsibility and start living off of what they earn. Okay, now let's get to some of the tips that you were talking about a little bit earlier. As far as the year is concerned, and staying with this resolution of becoming financially fit in 2010, let's get to some of those tips. And the first tip I have here from you is to try to pay with cash or check, only with cash or check? Certainly people need to make sure that if they're buying something, they have to make sure that the money is going to be in their, the, in their pocket to pay for that. And if it's not, if they have to use the credit card, certainly they need to make sure that when the bill comes in, they can pay it off in the next month or the following month within a very short period of time rather than let it roll to exactly. continue and grow their balances. And we know that then we will have a lot of debt if we allow that to happen. Also, uh, find out the total amount you owe to creditors. Well, most people don't understand how much they owe. They think they know, but I could tell you that when people call our offices, they're usually significantly off on how much they owe. So sit down at your kitchen table and go through and take the time to understand your debt, understand how much you're paying in interest, and really understand how long or try to figure out how long it's actually going to take you to pay off your debt if you make minimum payments. So be proactive, basically. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. And determine which creditor needs to be paid first, the highest interest rate uh, first. That needs to be paid first. Absolutely. Okay. Regardless of the balance, we got to pay the, high, the guy who's charging you the most has to go first. All right. And pay off those credit cards that will raise your credit score. And I know a lot of us out there want to hear that. Pay off those credit cards that will raise your credit scores? Well, certain credit cards, if you have large balances, you need to liquidate those balances. And certainly you need to make sure that if you pay off your bills, you're going to get out of debt and it's going to improve your credit. Okay. And transfer existing balances. Well, you can do that, but be very careful that you understand what you're getting into. A lot of times the deal looks great, but a lot of people don't understand 
that what they're getting themselves into and may win, wind up in far worse shape than they actually were. Okay, well, here's, a, here's one I have a little problem with right here myself. Reduce your spending and set a realistic budget because I never, ever stay within that budget. I, but you can. There's fat in everybody's budget. Most right. people live and spend more money than they have to. I could look at anybody's budget at this point and cut 15% wow. right out of it. And 15% of a budget is a lot of money over a year and you won't even know it. So go That's through true. and look at the essentials. You're not gonna change the essentials, but it's the things, the little extras that add up. And also, once you're out of debt, revise your budget and stick to it. Well, that's the hard part. I mean, nobody wants to do a budget and certainly nobody wants to update it, but more importantly, you got to stick with it. Be concerned with your finances. Finances today I, uh, involve so much of our lives that we have to be concerned with money. Our lives revolve around money to a certain extent, and we have to be concerned with it. Last one, we got to make this fast. Spread your holiday shopping throughout the year. Buy things on sale. If you see things that are on sale, take advantage of the sale. Nobody says you can only shop In between, December. between. well, you got Thanksgiving, <laughs> right Thanksgiving too. Thanksgiving, exactly. Right. Nobody said that. I don't know who wrote the rule. But if you see a deal, buy it, put it away. All right, some good advice. Howard, thank, thank you very you. much. I appreciate it. Uh, we Happy do New too. Year. Happy New Year to you.